Hi right, guys, uh, just a quick video here to kind of an update on what's going on now again and the cattle. As I said last video, I'll show you, someone was kind of in the way there, show you a better uh, an update on the cattle, see how they're doing. But what I'm doing at the minute, I've got this electric fence around here to keep them out of the inside fields. But even though there is a bit of grass out there, just not good enough for them this time of year, so I'd rather kind of keep them here in the home field. Or the silage feed is that you know it is. And they win out the shed there whenever they want for the silage and they'll come down for the nuts. So yeah, it's as I said there is a bit of grass in there, but it's not doing any good for them. Um when they go inside inside fields are going in and they're getting they're staying in for shelter more so than anything else. And um, the weather has turned increasingly cold now in the last couple of days and I actually think they're talking about snow showers and parts of Ireland Stephen. So yeah, just trying to show you what I'm doing now at the minute. Um, some of the cattle are here behind me because they're following me up and up this fence. And the rest of them are down the shed below. So what I'm going to do is, when I get back down the shed, I'm going to start up this video again. Uh, it'll be a few minutes now for me, but it'll be no length for you, it'll be straight away. And you'll be able to see what the cattle are like and see how they're doing now on the feed they're getting with the ciders and the nuts. So yeah. So guys, as you can see there now, I'm after walking down to the field there, to the shed here to show you what the cattle are looking like now. Uh, you've all seen them when they arrived in the farm, you've seen them in a few videos through the farm and see there's the silage they're getting now. It's a, uh, the July cut silage uh, made in the good weather. But um, yeah, they seem to be liking it a good bit. And as I said, these bales here, were baled with net and the bales was made later on in the year were made with um, the NRF plastic and what I will do is show you a comparison between the net and the plastic of the advantages of the plastic over the net some of you might like it but it is once you get used to it it's a great job but yeah there's the cattle there now and they're coming on for the very happy, you know, happy enough with how we're coming on. Um, as I said, we done the TB test here two or three weeks ago, and thanks to God, they all set up anyway. So no complaints there. So guys, it's just a short video now of basically the cattle. I uh, just said the other day I'd do a quick update on how the cattle were doing, and there they are. Um, I also said in my last video I'd be giving small local businesses shout outs and the few businesses I am going to be doing now in the next video. Uh, the video later hopefully over the weekend is going to be going up. And I have the businesses all wrote down that I'm going to do a shout out on and um, looking up bits of information on the business. So when I give the shout out I can give the few bits of information as well of what to do and you know, the websites, whatever, and where they're based. As I said, guys, Christmas is coming up, and this, everyone wants to get gifts for their family members and friends. So, if you can shop local and help out the smaller businesses, guys, they'd appreciate it huge. The bigger chains, they're going to go after themselves anyway, no matter what, so don't worry about them. There is smaller businesses out there, and there's even, there's farms there that's, doing their own work as well and help them out as much as you can too guys um, other than that now as I said it's only a very short video of this it's I think it's only 5-6 minutes long if that and there's not much else I'm going to say in this because there isn't much else to say as I said before I don't want to be repeating my videos feeding the cattle showing you the cattle every single video talking about them every video because I don't know if you want to hear about it uh, it will get boring for a lot of my viewers, I don't want that, I want to keep my viewers interested in what I'm doing and if I can keep the viewers interested I want my channel to grow and as I said, by Christmas I want to be hopefully uh, half an hour to go 
till Christmas, but if I could be up in 500 subscribers by Christmas, guys, I'd really, really appreciate it. So any of you that's watching here now who's not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate it. Get me to where I want to be for Christmas. Hit the thumbs up button if you like what you've seen. The weather's starting to turn nasty now, and it's starting to rain heavy here now. And as I've said before, the weather's after turning very cold, and we promise snow, sleety snow showers overnight and for the next couple of days, I think. So yeah, as I said already, hit that thumbs up button if you like what you've seen. Comment below on the businesses. I need to get, from now to Christmas, I'm going to be giving the shout outs to businesses around, well, not just around Ireland. Anybody you're watching from, if you know the name of the business, any information you have, put in the comments below and I'll give that business a shout out. Um, we're going to try to do two or three every week, possibly, coming up to Christmas. And if you can help them out the best you can, even if you only buy one item off them, that'll help them out huge. Guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Get me to 500 by Christmas, guys. Really appreciate it.